Welcome back everyone, One UI 4 has officially came out, so let's go ahead and do a quick beginner's guide of this specific software. This is not going to be crazy in depth, but you should have a great understanding of One UI 4 and pretty much how to use it as at this point. So pretty much starting off, some of the cool things are within the lock screen. So most Samsung phones you can double tap or you can click the power button to pretty much move on. Now within the lock screen, there are some newer improvements. We do have the capability of adding some, you know, widgets and different cool lock screen tweaks, which we'll get into in a second. As always, if you want to go ahead and make a phone call, you can swipe up from the bottom left and pretty much get into your phone calls. You can also swipe up to come back into your home screen. If you have a passcode or face ID or not face ID, but face unlocking, you'll basically be able to input that. But also you can go ahead and swipe from the right and get into the camera as well. So you have some quick toggles there you can go ahead and kind of modify with, which is really cool. If you want to go back to the lock screen, you can also go like this. You'll also see the time up here. You'll also see your little notifications, which if you click into it, you'll see more notifications there. You can also swipe down and get into your control center as well. So this is essentially where you can go ahead and toggle up your brightness. You can go ahead and turn on your Wi-Fi. And there are so many different things within here that you might as well go ahead and kind of understand one UI 4 does bring a couple of more toggles as far as I can tell as well. So you might as well go in here, try to understand this to the best of your ability because there are a lot more features built in, screen recording, different things like that, device control, the list goes on and on. So if you ever want to go back, you pretty much swipe up from the bottom, you can swipe up once more, and you can pretty much go ahead and get into your home screen. Now One UI 4 does bring a couple of more improvements for the home screen, specifically with these widgets. So a lot of these widgets are now somewhat under their material U design. So if you go ahead and actually just kind of hold down on the home screen like this, you'll see at the bottom there's like wallpaper style themes, but there's widgets. So you want to go ahead and click on widgets right here, and you'll see some of these widgets actually look a little bit different. So if you kind of just kind of even scroll through from the top, you'll basically see a couple of these widgets. You can see clock right here. So if we click on the clock widget, you can see some of these widgets actually look a little bit different, including this one. This is a new dual clock widget. So if we click on it, we can go and click add. So we'll just add a New York as an example. We can click save. And now these widgets are actually a lot newer now and they look a lot cooler too, which is something that I'm really happy about. You can hold them down and you can go ahead and maneuver through with the rest of this website or rest of this toggle. And you can pretty much move on from there. So that's another really cool thing within One UI 4. I think the screen's a little bit too bright on my side, but a lot of these widgets are actually now improved, which is really awesome. So I'd recommend you guys to hold down on the screen and actually maneuver through not only the widgets, but also the wallpaper styles and different things like that, because they are honestly some of my favorite things for sure. Now, another big thing within One UI 4 is actually new notification styles. So One UI 3 actually brought in some new notifications, at least the styling of them. And now within One UI 4, we did get some newer notification styles. So they look a little bit cleaner overall, which is something that's really awesome. They actually now support light and dark mode, which is also really cool. And they should be easier to see. So if you're on the lock screen and you actually look at your notifications like we saw earlier, they should be a little bit easier to see for the most part, which is another really big feature. And this is another big Android 12 feature as well. Now, another big thing that came within One UI 4 is actually with the keyboard. So if we make our way over to our Chrome browser right here, and if we go and type in even like up here, for example, to get into our keyboard, there's actually been some newer improvements for the specific keyboard. So from what I've heard, the styling of the keyboard is a little bit improved, but also the input has been a little bit improved as well. But specifically, emojis and stickers have been updated. So if we go and click on emojis, you can see we have our standard emojis here. But with the stock keyboard, we can actually get on Bitmoji if you want to. And there's been some newer stickers and animated emojis as well that have been added as well. So that's another really big thing. If you're into a lot of these, you know, animated emojis and different things like that, well, that is another big improvement within One UI 4. Kind of funny, I understand, but a lot of people use these keyboards all the time. So that's a pretty big deal in my opinion. Now, some other big changes within One UI 4 are actually within the settings. So if we make our way over to our settings panel right here, you'll pretty much see that we get into our settings and anytime you have any questions for any of settings that you have, you can always click on that search bar that's on the top, you know, essentially the middle panel of the screen right here. So you can click on search and if you ever have any questions like, you know, notifications or anything, you can always just click on them and go straight into somewhere that has notifications or, you know, whatever you're looking for. So I'd recommend getting used to that too, because that can pretty much help answer any question you have. But a lot of the big improvements are within privacy. So if we make our way over to our privacy settings, now a lot of this stuff may end up looking the same, you know, still One UI 4 has a long ways to improve, but a lot of the backend has actually been improved with this specific update as well. So Android 12 as a whole has been focusing in on pretty much you know privacy and different things like that as a whole but that's a pretty big deal because now we can actually kind of be a little bit rest assured that this specific update is going to be improved and that's another big thing as well 
So privacy is another area where we're going to get a little bit more updates. And you can see you'll basically be able to get alerts for camera access, microphone access as well. So that's another pretty cool thing. Now we also did get some improvements for our always on display. So if we go and click on display, but now within One UI 4, we should have the ability of actually getting some more notifications on our always on display as well. Now dark mode has actually also gotten a little bit of an improvement as well. I've heard the tinting is a lot better and I've heard the colors are also a lot better too. So that's another big thing. They've also, they've always been pretty dark because it's an OLED panel, but that's also another big effect. Now we've also gotten some newer charging effects as well. And I am curious to see if Samsung is going to allow a little bit more customizability there. But now whenever you, you know, plug in your phone, you should be able to see some newer effects when you're charging, which is really cool. Now the camera has also gotten a couple of more updates as well. So if we look at the camera right here, you basically see we have 0.5, 1x, and 3. Well, if you actually remember not too long ago, that used to be a tree and just basically a bunch of trees here and it was kind of funny. Now they now switched that to numbers. So it looks a little bit better now, which is something that's really cool. And it makes things look a lot easier. I noticed that zooming in it, I don't know what it is, from One UI 3 to One UI 4 in my opinion, on my Samsung Galaxy S20, I noticed it was kind of a little slower moving in. With this one, since I've had One UI 3 and One UI 4 on this device, it seems like it's a little bit of a smoother experience. So I'm curious to see if that's something that, you know, I'm actually seeing or if it's just like placebo or whatever, but it is something that I did notice. Now, another big thing within camera is obviously like there's new recording options. There's new single take, which is really cool as well. So I think that's another really awesome thing. Now, the Photos app, it gets some improvements as well. So we now have the ability pretty much of adding some more ability of editing and different things like that, including AR emojis, which is really, really awesome. Now there's also been some new multitasking updates as well. So now we can actually pin the window, essentially if we're in the multitasking panel, we can pin a window option to the menu to the top of a pop-up window, essentially making it easier to resize windows when you're in picture in picture mode, which is really cool. There's been some new improvements with messages. There's been some new improvements with my files and Samsung internet, but Samsung internet, I don't know too many people who use the stock internet app. I think a majority of people end up switching over to Chrome, similar to how I just switched over to Chrome. But if you use Samsung internet, there's been some newer improvements with the search widgets, some more privacy settings added to as well. There's been some newer improvements to Bixby routines as well, but like I mentioned, I don't know too many people who use Bixby routines, but there's been some accessibility options that have been added, specifically with the adjusting of controlling size at the same time, microphone settings, and so many different options as well. So overall, I've been using One UI 4 for the last couple of days, and there's been a lot of improvements, and that kind of covers up a lot of the main improvements within this update. Again, this is still like kind of an, I mean, it's been officially released for the Samsung Galaxy S21. It's in a beta for a lot of phones. I would recommend staying away from the beta for the time being, and I would highly recommend installing the official version when it comes out at some point. But as of right now, you're good to go. I really don't think you're missing out on too much if you stick, you know, with Android, you know, 11 with One UI 3. But so far, you should have a good understanding of the specific software, and hopefully you can go ahead and get used to it when it officially comes out for you. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.